Channel 1 News at 1. I'm Wayne Rogers. And I'm Dean Clark. We turn now to uh, tonight's top story. President Bush urges all of you citizens to be patient with this fight. He's saying it will take time. Of course, the good thing is, he's never been right. Governor Palin read a quote off a McDonald's coffee cup at one of her energy rallies. She summed up her energy plan by saying, America runs on duck. In other news, the local food agency has advised people to thoroughly cook your frozen dinner. I know it's hard to fight the urge, but just try to wait long enough. Just, just try. An economic specialist says he knows how to fix the economy. Identify the problem. Fix it! Identify another problem. Fix that! Repeat as necessary until it's all fixed! Stay tuned to Channel 24 News. We'll be right back. Right, John? That's right, Dean. That's right, Dean. But before we send you out, let's take a look at today's almanac. A beautiful 67 in downtown Windsor. Channel, Channel 1 News continues right after this. You see this freaking food? Are you hungry? Well, if you like freaking food at a freaking great price, then get your freaking butt down to freaking Pervert's Mini Mart. You might freaking ask, freaking pervert or freaking mini. Just freaking come freaking down to the freaking Pervert's Mini Mart and get whatever the freak you need. Well, it was a lovely day today. Highs around the state in the mid to upper 60s. Let's look at some. Midvale coming in at 64. Durango reporting at 68. There are a few mysterious showers where some onlookers thought it looked a little bit like rainbow ice cream in Kinsleston. They reported a mysterious 1.4 inches of something that was not rain. And here in Windsor at the, study, at the studio, it was a gorgeous 67 degrees. Here's a seven day forecast. Looking nice throughout your work week? But disturbance of Halloween surprise. My charts are suggesting a disturbance of raining pumpkins. So watch your little crackheads. Also, don't forget to repair those furnaces. This potential that we could could reach cold temperatures on Thursday. Back to you, Wayne and Dean. For the weather. Now it's time for a new segment here on Channel One News. We like to call Celebrity Spotlight. Yay! All right, and today's celebrity we have brought along Guadalupe Amigo. <laughs> Um, hello, I'm oh. kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. I hate those dark chairs. Me too. Thanks, quadriplegic Camigo, for being here today. We are very honored to have you here. I'm not. Why not? You should be very honored to be here. You're, you're my star. arch You're my arch enemy. What do you think? Alright, now let's get started with this interview. Our first question is submitted by Sally Foster. Sally Foster? I know that yes. girl. I went out with her. You did. Well, she, well, she, she sent us a question. Yeah, you did. Alright. Yeah. Sally Foster says, Dear Quadriplegic Amigo, I have gotten from a reliable source that you make babies cry. Is that true? I make your mom cry when I stub her toes. <gasps> How dare you? Okay, I have a question here from Joey Sanchez. And it says, Quadriplegic Amigo, are you really quadriplegic? I have hands. How about feet? And feet. What? Yeah, I only have one foot. Okay. Then, then what's with the name? I will tell you more about that in a recent video that I will make probably when you're in bed. Okay. <laughs> All right, our next question is submitted by Doug. Is that last name Preacher? Oh, no, 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 it's not yeah. Preacher, it's Proster. Oh, sorry. Doug yeah. Proster. Thinking. Sorry. All right. Some anchors he says, how many videos do you plan to make before you are done? I am planning on making 75 videos. And if my fans will agree to make me go on, I will do so. All right. Okay. It's all about the fans. This one is from Teddy Roosevelt. He's dead. dead! Well, that's what the name says, okay, quadriplegic video, so just get with the program. It says, is it true that your videos humiliate people all over the world, such as gangsters, nerds, customers, and such? I haven't made a nerd video yet, but I'm planning on doing one in but the near future. 
It says here that there was a nerd in Art of Being Gangster. Ah, oh, Art of Being Gangster, yes. But I will humiliate him even more in one of my other to come videos. Wow, that's terrifying. All right, and now it's time for our final question. This one is from Crackhead Jones. All right. Crackhead Jones says, Dear Quadriplegic Amigo, which is your favorite video and why? Give me a second, I have a brain fart. Okay, all right. I like Art of Being Gangster. It's my favorite uh, video because it was very funny and hopefully we'll get a lot of views later in the future. I'm sure everybody liked the tricks. Wait, 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 wait! Yeah. Quadriplegic amigo, I have a question! Who are it, you? My name is Mexican Hugen Schnagen Boggen Joggen Floggen. Okay. What's your question? Quadriplegic amigo. Is it true that you are tr you are trying to plant a atomic bomb inside this very factory? Guys, guys, no, guys, come on, 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 that was supposed to be classified, you stupid Mexican. Come on. Oh, yes, we have a report of a bomb. Yes, we have a bomb. We have a bomb. We need to get out of here immediately. Okay, okay. The address is seventy nine West two hundred Fifty Fifth Street. But I'm not Mexican. We'll be right back with four. Yeah. I'm French. Get out of here, Duncan. Stop it. Errol's my response. I am Jose Sanchez. I am gay, and I have nothing to say for this first section. Oh crap! Oh, sorry. sorry, I got a I got a gay party. I need to get to the back to you, Dean, and whatever your other name is. Thank you for joining us here on today's Channel 1 newscast. From all of us here at Channel 1 News, have a great day. And be sure to tune in for next week's newscast. It'll be See ya!